the number one question I get from people is they'll walk up to me and says, when is somebody going to jail? And the reason they say that is because they're sick of the double standard. This idea that there's one set of rules for the politically connected in D.C. and a different set for us regular folks. So let's hope we have uh, the, the investigation done before the election. Let's hope that someone is going to be held accountable for the major wrongdoing that took place when they targeted the president's campaign and spied on the president's campaign. Michael Flynn, uh, 38 different people, 49 different times unmasked Michael Flynn's name between Election Day 2016 and Inauguration Day in January 2017. So in that short two-month time period, 49 separate times they were unmasking his name, even though they already knew. All these people already knew that there was no basis for the investigation to begin with. And how do we know that they knew there was no basis, there was no proper predicate? Because when they testified, they told us that. Rick Rennell released the testimony of Comey and Clapper and Brennan and, and Rice and Samantha Powers, released all their testimony, and they all said the same thing. We never saw any evidence of any type of coordination, collusion, conspiracy between the Trump campaign and Russia, but they investigated it anyway, even up until the time when Bob Mueller was named special counsel. Jim Comey, when we deposed him in the House last Congress, when we deposed him, he said, after 10 months, we didn't have anything, but Comey does what? Leaks his memos so we get two years of Bob Mueller. Leaks his memos for the express purpose of getting a special counsel name. And then we had the 19 lawyers, 40 agents, 500 subpoenas, 2,800 or 500 witnesses, 2,800 subpoenas, and $30 million to tell us what we already knew, what they already knew, that there was nothing there. So let's hope that ultimately someone is held accountable. It was the Comey cabal, this, this small handful of people at the top of the FBI. And remember, Bill Barr, the first time he testified, said there was a failure of leadership at the upper echelon of the FBI. Comey, McCabe, Baker, Strzok, Page, they all were left or had to be fired as the, the, the key people who ran the Clinton investigation and the Trump-Russia investigation. Comey's the ringleader here. I hope they, they give him a second look, and I hope he is ultimately held accountable.